Romeo Tango, and you guessed it, this is story time. So today, I picked up something pretty sweet I'm happy to share with you. I picked up a Live Free Armory uh, 308 battle rifle. Um, looks like it was a special order. Um, it, it does have a special Cerakote paint job. I think it's a Timney drop-in trigger. Uh, man, it's sweet. It's all decked out. I don't remember all the things that um, the guy was telling me was in there. I'm gonna break it down myself and look inside all the internals and see what all I got. But trust me when I tell you I got a sweet deal on this and it's not even when I was out and about for. I was doing a weekend gauntlet of checking the gun shops in the area, seeing what's available, what's new, specials on ammo, anything like that. Anything that I might need, desire, want to bring home with me. And today it was absolutely not a firearm, but I found a firearm. Uh, the, only force, the unfortunate reason why this happened is because uh, me and my buddy Cam, we were going out and we were going to do uh, some, some uh, shooting and movement drills at, uh, at uh, a local range here. And we forgot they were running a three-gun competition uh, this weekend. And man, they had <laughs> hundreds of people there lined up for this competition. He got there before I did, so he called me let me know not to come. So I stayed back. And uh, just like, all right, let's run the gauntlet, pick up some ammo, whatever have you. Go to my range that I just work on my fundamentals at. I'm sure you've realized I do go to multiple ranges and each range has its own facet of why I'm there. Um, so yeah, I, I picked up this sweet Live Free Army rifle. Here it is, Cerakoted in FDE. Uh, looks like it's battle-worn finish. It looks really nice. Um, it's got the 50 cal muzzle brake on the front. Came with the in-bus mag pool sights. Uh, hollow sun red dot was in my gun safe. I just put it on here because it was laying around. Um, Cause you know, I love my hollow suns. Uh, man, it's nice. Uh, I'm gonna work on the safety selector switch. It's a little, I'm just, it doesn't have, uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but there's no way of knowing that it's been kicked into safe fire. Like what's that audible click? I can't think of the words. You guys know what I mean. Put in the comment section below cause I'm an idiot right now. I've been up all day, uh, shooting, driving around, all kind of stuff. Anyway, buttstock, um, it sounds like the uh, buffer tube spring is really dry when you rack it. In fact, let me just let you hear it. So I'm going to definitely grease that. That sounds terrible. <laughs> but I did open it up. I did grease everything. I didn't ride it forward all the way. I did open it up. I did grease everything. Um, everything looked good, fresh, uh, barely any... Uh, Brass shavings in there when I looked in it. Um, man, uh, can't wait to break this thing down and see what it's all about. Give it a nice, good once over, nice, good cleaning. Uh, my style to making my own. Uh, also, uh, did a product test for you today. So I tested some new ammo. Hold on, I need a drink. It's water, by the way. It's water, it's not moonshine. Or is it? No, it's water. I did a product test for you guys and I got some new ammo in. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you the bluff. Bluff is bottom line up front. This is garbage, <laughs> this Monarch. I gotta tell you guys. Um, I think it's about $10 a box. Steel case, lacquer coated ammo. Sorry, I keep moving the box. Steel case, lacquer coated ammo from Russia. It's not like the Tula ammo. I've had zero issues running Tula. I've, nothing, it's always, it's always gone. Click, bang, boom, whatever. It does what it's supposed to do. But this stuff, today, two boxes. Two boxes of ammo. I have 10 uh, strikes, but no bang. Um, primer's hit. Primer cuts are deep, but the ammo just didn't go off. And it was frustrating because the drills I was running today called for two magazines, three rounds, and it was uh, two shots on one. No, what was it? Uh, headshot. Headshot at the 10 meter target, two shots at the 25 meter target, mag chains, back on the 10 meter, uh, another headshot, then back out to the 25 meter, two more shots on it. Couldn't get this drill done because I couldn't get the magazines to run. It was either the first shot would not go bang, or the first two shots wouldn't go bang, or the last two shots wouldn't go bang. So it just completely messed the drill up because I was doing mag changes before I needed to do mag changes. And then on top of that, I think that dry, uh, either either the magazines, 
that I got. They're two brand new uh, Magpul magazines. They might need to be worked in some. Or that dry uh, buffer spring was causing some wicked, well, caused a wicked malfunction where I had one in the pipe, two in the chamber. That's actually the first time I've ever had that happen to me. Um, so that just dead gun. Gun was dead. Uh, and then on top of that, I couldn't get the mag to drop. I couldn't get the the bolt to the rear. So I, I, I'll put the footage in there. It's going to be a long video, guys, and I apologize up front. I was wrestling with the gun. I finally got the mag out to wrestle some more with the gun. I finally got the two in the chamber to drop. Then when I rotated and looked down into the tube, I noticed that there was that one in there as well. And it had one of the two rounds that were in the tube. One was already indenting the primer on it. So, man, <laughs> not a good day. So luckily it didn't go off. Uh, luckily I didn't have two rounds go off at the same time. That would have been a nightmare. Um, so finally got, so at that, on top of all that, so I'm wrestling with it. I can't get the gun to break apart either. So now I'm getting frustrated. I think I almost threw the gun because I was so mad at it. No, I didn't. Or maybe I did. I don't remember. Um, so work through it, work through it, work through it. You'll see it in the footage. I'm working through it, trying to figure out how to get this thing going. Finally get the bolt to start moving. Um, so I, I ran the bolt forward, hit that forward assist, couldn't get it to eject around initially. Finally got that round out of the pipe. Um, again, it was another, I don't, I don't even know what happened. I'm not even sure what happened on this one. Um, was not expecting it. Uh, I'm gonna, just gonna chalk it up to Murphy's Law on this one today. I'm not sure why that happened, but I suspect it was either the magazine or the dry buffer spring. So I'm going to, uh, grease both. I'm going to stretch. I'm going to take the mag spot, stretch the springs, put them back in, and grease them. And I'm going to take this uh, buffer spring out and grease it real nice to make sure it's good to go. And if it's flawed, I'll get ready and get a new one. Uh, footage will be in there. So because of my frustration with this, I, I picked up the vector and I ran that with my sidearm, my SFX, my TP9 SFX. And it was two shots at 10 meters, two shots 25 meters, transition, uh, new target transition to the 10 meter again, three shots on, on the uh, 10 meter target. Um, and then I found, I find myself with this bad, um, bad habit I picked up from practicing competition style shooting where it's trying to be fast on target. Now, when I push out, when I wanna draw, and I push out and I put the shots with the, uh, the sidearm on it, now for some reason I can't stop pulling the gun back in my chest, even though I should have it pushed out and scanned for, you know, more threats. So now I gotta work through that. So you'll see me trying to work through that today and then getting frustrated because I can't stop doing that <laughs> when I know I shouldn't be. So, man, stay tuned. Footage will be followed by this. I'm Romeo Tango. Like and subscribe if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Meet me in the comment section below. Uh, you can now follow me on YouTube under Romeo Tango, and I'm also on Gunstreamer under Romeo Tango. Uh, like always, guys, if you can't be quiet, be deadly. And one of these days, I'm going to sit down and talk to you about what that means to me. But I would like to hear what that means to you. When I tell you guys, that if you can't be quiet, be deadly, meet me in the comment section below. Let's discuss.
I, I would recommend stuff like this. If, uh, One top, two bottom. Rounds in your pistol. <laughs> then an AR round. I should have more than two rounds in there. It's kind of one minute too. Things fun, isn't it? Yeah. Brian. Fuck him. Oh, 